Any practical or demo as well. Nisha, ma'am, shall we start? Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Okay. Quite a respected resource person of the day, a beloved professors, academicians, and students from all over India, and my dear colleagues. I am Jasmine Vargis, Assistant Professor from the Research and PhD Department of Commerce, Pavanatma College, Murkeshwari. We all know today is a global hand washing day. In the scenario of COVID-19, it is our pleasure to organize such a webinar on an allied topic, COVID-19, boost your immunity through yoga and naturopathy. All are cordially invited to this auspicious occasion. On this occasion, we have Dr. Nisha Manu as our resource person. Let me introduce her in a few words. Dr. Nisha Manu, she has completed her bachelor's degree in naturopathy and yogic sciences from Raju Gandhi University of Health Sciences, Bangalore, MSc Psychotherapy and Counseling from Tamil Nadu Open University, Chennai, and also completed her MD in acupuncture. She has the professional membership in Indian Naturopathy and Yoga Graduates Medical Association. At present, she serves her duty as naturopathy consultant and acupuncturist in Kasargod, Kerala. Formerly, she worked as medical officer, wellness consultant, duty doctor, naturopathy consultant, acupuncturist, junior medical officer, etc. in various states. 
some of your career highlights includes lifestyle management consultation such as acupuncture, nutritional dietary, psychological counseling to patients, consultation and treatment planning, coordinator of stress management program for government departments, public sector undertakings, etc. She is an expert in the fields of treating conditions such as diabetes, diabetic ulcers, joint pains, renal failure, cardiac conditions, cancers, etc. Through naturopathic modalities such as fasting therapy, dietics, acupuncture, hydrotherapy, manipulative therapy, like physiotherapy, etc. Her major achievements include champion of National Himalaya Yoga Olympiad 2010 at Bangalore, champion of throwball and ball badminton competition and received overall championship in sports and games at Bangalore for three consecutive years. She has participated in various national and international conferences on modern trends in yoga, naturopathy and medical education programs. She has conducted various camps and classes on yoga, naturopathy, acupuncture and diabetes in various states. Ma'am, welcome to this session. And also, dear participants, please stay with us and note that you can type your queries in the chat box during the session. At the end of the session, we have 15 minutes to um, clear your queries. And also, you can ask your queries in the feedback form also. We will communicate the answers later through email. Feedback link will be available in the chat boxes after the session. It is also available in the Telegram and WhatsApp groups. These certificates will be distributed within three days. Dear participants, let's enjoy with the session. Thank you. Uh, thank you, uh, Josni, Madam. Uh, I need to share my PPT first of all. Uh, shall we start? Hello, uh, can you hear me? Hello, can you hear me? Yes. Um. Sorry. Okay, thank you. Can anyone see this one? Uh, if you can see we my can. screen. Okay, Nisha. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nisha, change it to presentation now. Sorry. Okay, okay. 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 Yeah. Um, this is fine. That's Nisha. You can be seen. Well, if you can see uh, this one screen. Yes, it's visible. 
Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, hi, everyone. Good afternoon. Uh, hope you all good enough. Uh, and, and we know that the world is looking forward to the solution of to get rid of COVID-19. And this is the disease that witnessed the uh, India country on the lockdown. And it's the disease that tracking the whole the global economy here. And, and all of us life is getting locked down and getting more stressed on our health as well. And as of now, today, uh, October 15, 2020, uh, India has uh, 30, around 33 lakh of thousand, 33 uh, lack of confirmed uh, cases of COVID-19 uh, in the India and globally there are around uh, uh, 3 cores and uh, 85 lakh, around uh, 4 lakhs, approximately 4 lakhs cases of confirmed COVID-19 cases across the 189 countries uh, and which are moreover uh, around 10 lakhs of death is reported in the World Health Organization. That was the today's uh, report around the, about the COVID-19 cases. Okay, uh, briefly we can go through about uh, what is COVID-19. So all of you all be knowing about the COVID-19 through the media and everything. On December 2019, there is a cluster of pneumonia cases in the city of Wuhan in China. And uh, some of the early cases has reported it like a wheezing and work with the seafood and live animal, uh, live animal market. Uh, uh, in the Wuhan city of China. That investigation found that the disease caused by newly founded uh, coronavirus. And uh, the disease is subsequently named as COVID-19. And COVID-19 spread within the China uh, and the rest of the world later on. Uh, moreover, on January 2020, on 30th Health Organization declared the outbreak of the public health emergency of Indian concern. And the COVID-19 currently known, it may change the alternate, the all, almost all life changes. And we'll go through about the coronavirus. It's a large group of virus and it's uh, uh, developed, it's having enveloped and physiologically we are anatomically and it's having an envelope inside and having a protein spike around that. It's look like a crown. So the last Due to dear participants, due to network problem, he will join soon. Mm. Mm. Is a good
Dear participants, please stay with us so that we can solve the network issues. She will join soon. Dear participant, please be say, please be stay with us. The RP will join soon. Thank you.
Yes, Nisha, audible. Audible, you can continue. Okay, okay, okay. thank you, ma'am. Uh, so, uh, it will vary person to person. Of course, some people will take five days to get the symptoms, uh, uh, symptom to appear. And some people will get one to 14 days of period because of their immune system. And the symptoms will vary mild to severe. Some people will get mild symptoms, some people will get severe symptoms, and of course, some of the people will be asymptomatic. They won't get any symptoms at all. Symptoms at all. And uh, the symptoms will start from fever, some people will get tiredness, fatigue, and some mostly the respiratory symptoms will be occurring with a cough, sore throat, and shortness of breath. And some people will have loss of taste, loss of taste and smell, and some people will have seen rashes will be appearing. And the severe cases, some people will have the pneumonia cases in the severe, and organ failure, any of the organs will get failure, mostly the kidney as well as the respiratory organs, and some people will go undergo death. And of course, 80% of the people is getting recovered without any treatment and asymptomatic. And the group of group at the risk of this coronavirus are the people are older people and the coronary respiratory disease people and the respiratory disorders and the people who are obese and diabetic, high blood pressure people and heart issues, uh, heart disease persons and of course we know that the cancer patients they will be having low immunity because of that they will be exposing for COVID-19 very easily compared to the others and this is the one graphic uh, diagram in this with same thing we have told that in within five days this is the incubation period for the virus they will be entering into your body and without any showing any symptoms that is the incubation period after the incubation period they will Start the symptoms will be onset, uh, mild the symptoms will be occurring. That is uh, acute mild phase after the five days. And of course, after 10 days, it will be the inflammatory phase. Inflammatory means, of course, they will be oh, yeah. having start getting the symptoms. Uh, they will be start getting symptoms like dyspnea, uh, uh, breathlessness, hypoxia, trachycardia, almost all the things. And they will get tiredness, nausea, body pain, cough, and other respiratory symptoms. So, and most of the people after the things, they will get recovered. And the diagnosis, almost it is the main thing is the PCR test. It is the accurate one compared to the other test. And they will be taking a swab from your uh, nasopharynx. Then they will be checking out their genetic fingerprint. And the other one is they will check. Uh, they will take the blood for checking your antibodies and anti antigen antibody checkup. And the treatment, we know that the supportive care is almost it's going on. And the medicines are under investigation. So far, it's not that ready. Medicine is not ready for the coronavirus. Okay. So how we can prevent the coronavirus COVID-19? Everyone know that we are using, we are using the mask or uh, personal uh, protective equipments in the health settings and covering our mouth with a nose or towel or whatever and uh, washing your hands with the sanitizers and soaps whenever we go out and we are to, after talking to any unknown person, whatever we do, our hand will be sanitized with the sanitizer or with soap. And avoid with the close contact with the others. So we told that the droplet will be uh, spreading within the one meter of distance. So of course, we have to talk with other person, uh, keeping a distance of one meter away. And uh, if you have some illness or something, you have to stay at home. We can call any medical professionals online. Of course, we have to do. And uh, for seeking in care with the doctor, if you have symptoms like a cough, uh, any difficulty with the breathing, any respiratory problems, throat pain, fever or something, of course, we have to meet a doctor for the further consultation. Physical and social distancing, anything, any way we are doing from since uh, uh, few months, almost it's going to be a one year. And vaccines are at a 
vaccines yet to come so all are waiting to uh, receive the vaccine for the coronavirus and uh, almost we know that what is the coronavirus and covid-19 it is all the information you will get it from the any other uh, social media so any things and we are looking for the deep how can we prevent this coronavirus before that we have to understand what is the disease how it spreading uh, how can we prevent the disease come to our side so for that the first thing what is infectious disease how the infectious disease is occurring here we can you can see that one triangle in that triangle there is a three component like one is the host host is nothing but the human body and the pathogen is nothing but nowadays the virus is the pathogen for us other thing the other pathogens like your bacteria some chemicals radiation and nutritional factors also pathogenic factors and the environment is nothing but the where the host is staying the environment and the agent is staying in the environment that is things so once the disease is occurring this three factors should be there if one of the factor is removing the disease won't occur if the host is there and the host immunity is very low and the environment is very poor or polluted or radiated for to get the pathogen to uh, attack the host of course the disease arises mostly the infectious disease spreading diseases so in this factor we can't alter the pathogen because pathogen will be there everywhere in around us everywhere in the air whatever it is pathogens we can't change but we can alter the environment we are exposing and the host immunity host factors also we can alter with a healthy lifestyle <coughs> host factors comes in the age sex uh, rise and previous diseases if the person is diabetic or obesity or some cardiac issues or kidney diseases everything because of that they will of course they will the immunity will be very low so the patient will be the host will be the person will be more of prone to get infectious disease and the, of course virus will be there agent will be there but the environment we have to look after the environment if the environment is polluted and the uh, in the case of corona virus we know that the neighbors having this problem and we are avoid that environment we have to away, we have to stay away from that persons and the environment we can we can change for that purpose only the government had introduced some of the safety measures like we have to wash our hands and we have to use the mask have to keep the distance with 1 meter a minimum of 1 meter away from the others all these are environmental factors and moreover this environment and host the human body's immunity also will be interconnected how the body will getting the immunity so inside their body the environment the if we are staying if we are having a healthy lifestyle uh, and we have a good uh, healthy lifestyle like uh, no stress good exercise uh, and uh, propitious food and yoga almost all the things we are using herbs all the things of course our environment will be healthy our if we can change our environment healthy of course the host immunity will be improving the same way we can alter in the healthy way like environment and host we can change in the positive way agent will be the same so you got the point i guess the same thing we can see here also uh you can see a tree like uh, it's spreading all the roots uh, deeply in the soils and the soils having some of the items like the inflammation stress poor diet toxins lack of sleep uh, poor relationship nutritional deficiencies <coughs> lack of exercise toxic thought trauma genetic and poor digestion all these things are feeding the tree for making to grow so of course the grow the leaves are like uh, symptoms like diseases hormone balances thyroid issues depression anxiety heart disease high blood pressure cancer irritable bowel syndrome autoimmune diseases uh, diabetic chronic fatigue all the symptoms are 
its branches, leaves, and all. But, but it's getting uh, fertilizer from the soil because of these things. Because the under the things, under the, you can see some of the things. Uh, because of that, the uh, tree is getting nutritionized. The same way in our body, if our body inside our body, in our body have, in our lifestyle have lack of sleep and we don't have a good nutrition and we don't have an exercise and we have a negative thoughts, of course, it will be affecting your physical health also and of course we will be hurting some of the genes from our parents that we can't blame anyways. And the poor digestion, our digestion will be very poor and stress, poor diet, some of the toxins like bakery items, we are getting toxins from food and the environment, water, all the things. All these things will make the inflammatory condition in our body. Inflammatory in a sense, so we can just you can imagine that if you get a heat anywhere in your body, of course, there will be having an inflammation, redness, swelling, almost all the things. This may happen in your body and in your each organ and the cells also. So that will lead to the remaining part. The upper side, you can see the diseases, the all the things is feeding because of these underlying causes. So the root cause of any disease are the underlying reasons. So, of course, we have to change almost all the things. Nutrition deficiencies, we have to recover the poor relationship and good, we should have a good sleep and we should have a good diet and we should be avoid of stress and the digestion, of course, we have to see. The digestion should be a proper one. And lack of exercise, we have to do daily yoga, exercise, all the things we should have. Exercise for our mental as well as our physical health. So these things we can use for the corona cases also. Same thing, if we have almost the underlying root causes, we, our immunity will be very low. The virus may attack us. The agent will attack the host because the environment is very poor and it is very open for the virus to attack and the host immunity is very low, of course, they will be exposing for COVID-19. So, of course, you know that what are the things we have to th change in our lifestyle. And looking after the immune system, we should know that what is our immune system do and what is the immune system. And it is the basic defense system of our body that protects us from any harmful pathogen in any kind of infection outside. It consists of various types of cells and proteins uh, and that kill the organism to protect the body from the disease. And the immune system, it limits the infection and it prevents the inf any of the infections. And it will immunity, immune cells will recognize the pathogen and will respond to the address the, that particular problem. If our immune system is cannot be activated where there is a sufficient need of problem arises like in infections and other diseases. So of course the immune response is very low. We will be getting the infection and some other diseases. Uh, mainly, uh, importantly, we can say that uh, three types of immunity. One is the barrier immunity, innate immunity and acquired immunity. Uh, barrier immunity is the first layer of defense system. It's a part of innate immunity. Innate immunity, we will be telling the next slide. Uh, it is the in inborn immunity. Uh, so, this is the anatomical barriers. There is a uh, barrier to prevent to or enter the microbes inside our body, entering into the, our body. So, that will prevent or the kill the microbes. So, in our body, we can see that the cilia in the nasopharynx. Nasopharynx, there is a cilia present, of course, that remove the particle and uh, what we breathe in. And then the tears, eyes, tears that produce the lysosome. Of course, the lysosomes will wash out the bacteria that enter into the word eyes. And in the trachea, mucociliary escalator is present and skin, of course, uh, skin is the uh, main physical barrier to the infection. And in the abdomen is the major part, abdomen and intestine is the major part. Uh, low abdominal pH uh, around 2, it will uh, kill the microorganisms that enter into the abdominal area. 
and the flora and the gut uh, intestinal gut micro uh, microbes microbes or else uh, flora of the gut it will kill the foreign bacteria in the stomach we know that the ph will be changing the change of ph from low ph to high ph of course it will clear the all the pathogen or microbes which entering in our in the stomach and of course the urinary tract flushes out consistently all the microbes uh, that is we told that barrier immunity you have to remember this barrier immunity so like uh, how we can clear or how we can improve that cilia in the nas nasopharynx immunity and how we can change the uh, abdominal ph and intestinal bacteria all the things you have to remember later on also we will be talking this all the things in one second how we can improve all this immunity so the next one is the innate immunity of course in this name it says that in is inside and the innate is born this is the immunity which is born you are born with this is the uh, already present before the birth we will get from our parents and this is also consists of various type of cells and when the pathogen successfully invade the barrier immunity our next level of immunity comes into the action which is nothing but the innate immunity once the barrier immunity will be working out later on comes to the innate immunity next one is the adaptive immunity or acquired immunity that is what we have to uh, focus more <coughs> if the innate immunity is failed to destroy the pathogen the third layer of immunity comes into the action that is nothing but the adaptive immunity or acquired immunity that is nothing but we are acquiring that immunity by ourselves through some of the some of the things it's a very highly specialized one and not present since birth it's developed in response to any infections this is what uh, we can see that some uh, chicken box comes once we got the chicken box they will say that usually we won't get the next time chicken box why because once the foreign body is enters automatically our body will be producing anti body against that foreign body so once it attack once uh, once again if you are exposing for the chicken box that antibody will be rejecting the entry of the microbes in once again to the our body so of course uh, our acquired immunity is very important and this is what the for the uh, process of uh, vaccination also work and of course this uh, acquired immunity create immunological memory they remember the antibodies will remember which uh, uh which this is has previously we have got attacked so the next time they will prevent from that particular specific disease Uh, i have told you that you can see so many cells and proteins uh, uh, briefly we can say that what are the cells like uh, macrophages natural killer cells dendritic cells neutrophils these no fields these no fields and natural killer cells t cells and b cells almost all the things are coming and b cells and t cells are particularly on the adaptive immunity that is a slow response immunity and innate immunity is the rapid response it act rapidly and we come to know about the coronavirus uh, brief things and uh, what is the immunity have you ever thought about who is giving this bigger strain to our immune system and cell to identify or destroy the individual So like uh, we know that police are uh, catching the thieves and all those things they will giving the instruction all the things but we don't know what is happening inside our body what is this immune system whether immune system having any life or any uh, any aim or any work or something we are not at all knowing what is going uh, going to what is happening inside our body So of course, immune system is the precious one for everyone. We have to love, start loving studying about immune system more. 
so for the immune system the main thing is the intestinal flora Uh, we can see millions of bacteria inside our intestine. Uh, we know that once the baby is grown, they, uh, she, the baby will be drinking the mother's milk, the colostrum. It's a good fat because of the, that it's six months of their uh, lifespan, the baby will be drinking only the milk. That is the very good one. That's why we tell that don't uh, hesitate to feed the babies. Of course, they have to get a good bacteria. They have to get a, a good bacteria on their intestine for their further life. That is very important for our health. The microbes that lives inside our intestine influence your health in beneficially and harmful ways. Most of the disease like uh, uh, some of the autism, some obesity, some metabolic disorders like uh, uh, diabetes, hypertension, cardiac and kidney issues, all the things and moreover any inflammation and, and immunity related like uh, uh, arthritis like uh, 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 SLA uh, RI patients, all the things it will be affecting. Their uh, guts microbes will be getting affected badly. So, of course, these are the main thing we have to focus for our immunity growth. growth. So, the bad gut yeah. microbes will increase the inflammation in our body to poor quality of life. Quality of life will cause the increase and bad gut microbes will interconnect <coughs> so we saw the problem and we have to think about what the solution for it. whether we are whether whether we have to search for the solution or whether within the solution is within us that is the main thing Yes, what we have to do, we can go for the solution part, healthy life, we all need a healthy life. Actually, this Corona situation is very good. We all are thinking that how we can be healthy without any medication. So we have to be healthy, everyone should be happy and healthy. Okay, uh, can you, uh, is it audible? Can you see my uh, slides here? Anyone can answer me, please. Sorry, am I audible and my uh, presentation can be seen for everyone? Is it audible? It's audible, but presentation is not visible now. Okay, okay, sorry. Once again, I will put the thing on. No, the presentation is visible, ma'am. Okay, uh, what about now? Can you see this? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. So, 
the how the naturopathy works on immune system. Main thing, uh, naturopathy is focusing on our stress level, fitness, and physical activities, nutrition, and sleep, and what are the morbid condition we have, and uh, focusing on good healthy lifestyle for the each individual that will shape our immune system and improve our body's innate healing properties so every body will having an inborn healing capacity of disease in at a so improve your body's innate healing property and improve once vitality vitality of course it will be interconnected with your immune system also so of course we have to uh, think about immune system how we can improve our vitality as well as immune system to prevent all the uh, infectious disease and get rid of from other metabolic disorders also like diabetes hypertension heart disease all the things and the main thing here we have to think about the previous slide how we can improve our muco mucosal immunity and reducing airway reactivity this is what we can see in the covid condition they will be getting the respiratory tract inflammation and the respiratory tract will be uh, inflamed and they will be getting the mucus production more of the mucus production that's why they will be getting the obstruction on their airways so how we can improve our mucosal lining and reducing the airway reactivity uh, the simple one as well as and very important for everyone uh, gargle with the hot water with the salt daily and gargle with the neem oil you can put a small one or two drops of neem oil in that and nasal irrigation with a warm saline water followed by ghee application morning and evening you can uh, apply ghee drops of uh, ghee to your nostril to reduce your nasal congestion the mucus will congest because of the mucus excess mucus you will have a, have a and dryness airway reactivity for everything nasal irrigation with a warm water you can put ghee application and or else water kriya or jalanidhi is the common name uh, that we can we can see the next slide what is the niti kriya uh, or jalanidhi that is followed by kapalabhati after practicing of jalanidhi we have to do kapalabhati pranayama or kapalabhati kriya any things uh, that is twice a week they are advised but we can do at least two three times at a, at a week and the aroma therapy it will of course it will improve the mucosal immunity for aroma oils uh, there are so many aroma oils we get from good market the after inhalation that uh, reducing the airway reactivity we can use the peppermint oil or eucalyptus oil or tulsi oil for the aroma things with the aroma things we can take the uh we can do the we can do uh, we can clear our nasal nasal passage and of course yoga and the mindful uh, things it's helping us a lot for improving our level and we can see that the iga will be the more in the infectious condition so uh, this all the things will reduce the infectious disease from the respiratory disorders and it will improve the mucosal immunity this is what the, in the upper picture we can see that the one lady is cleaning their nostrils with the jalanidhi pot uh, this is we, we can get the instruction from nearby or uh, any of the naturopathy hospitals it will clean out the nasal passage it will remove the excess uh, excess mucus from the nasal passage uh, we have to observe, we have to do the breathing uh, scientifically formed breathing pattern we have to practice with that and after the jalanidhi practice the, we have to do the second down one the the uh, picture is showing it's a kapalabhati pranayama it is nothing but the passive inhalation and active exhalation we have to breathe actively we have to exhale exhale or breathe out actively so that the abdomen is getting uh, uh, abdomen it, it 
it's getting towards to the spine so you have to push your abdomen inside suck your abdomen inside through exhaling so that of course it's very good for uh, clean up our uh the area upper bodies like uh, the the organ which is above your clavicle it's will getting clean cleanser this is a kapala pati kapala is nothing but the brain brain cleansing pranayama or kriya is nothing but the kapala pati pranayama and uh, beneficial jala jalanidhi it's eliminate the nose related all the ailments of course it's very good for our covid uh 19 corona it will impurities it will clear all the impurities of uh, impurities and bacteria that obstruct your nasal passage and hence the sense of smell and restore the mucous membrane we have we have already told that the symptoms in the covid the some people will get very uh, they won't get smell and they won't get taste at all so of course this jalanidhi will help there and common cold virus rhinovirus we can get rid of that and uh, it will drain all the excess mucosa and clear out the sinus area we know that there are so many sinus area in our brain eh? so once the sinus has problems also it's very good because it's all related to your uh, respiratory system and it relieve the cough cold influenza asthma and bronchitis everything is clear the clear the tear duct because once we are clearing our nose of course our ears ears and the eyes also is connected once the nose is cleared our tear duct also getting cleared and it will enhance the sharp vision the people who are uh, having short uh, blindness and eyesight problem they can also will practice jalanidhi and of course it's uh, it's keep your ears away from any infection tinnitus everything and a uh, effective way to get rid of smoking dependence the persons uh, they will uh, some people will be addicted to for smoking of course they don't have any choices to get rid of that they can do this jalanidhi daily of course they will get a good result they can uh, get rid of uh, smoking habit gradually and uh, since your mind and sense become very balanced through the jalanidhi practice you can achieve an enhanced state of meditation after practicing jalanidhi so we can tell that after practicing any asana yoga or the things previously we can practice jalanidhi jalanidhi kriya because that will clean our all the senses five senses and our mind clearly so that we will feel, we can uh, focus more we can do the meditation and of course stress we have to think about the stress uh, stress uh, in the covid condition also stress is the main factor for almost all the people uh, do practice yoga minimum of 20 minutes per day listening exercise breathing exercise surya namaskara and yogic relaxation techniques kapalapati nadi shodini pranayama ujjali pranayama brahmari pranayama all these pranayamas of course it will help us to get rid of the stress and we can be happy throughout our life even the corona situation if we are uh, exposed to covid 19 you have to practice all those things you can gradually you can improve the um, immunity thereby you can get rid of this disease and improving your sleep poor sleep always will make any respiratory infection more prone regular healthy sleep should be there for that hot foot immersion with a cold compression to head for it. in so many is the best treatments for in the naturopathy treatments naturopathy sector <coughs> we have to keep our, uh, both the foot and both the arms in the hot water for 20 minutes uh, we have to consult any of the doctor if previously to practice and improve your fitness and respiratory health for daily exercise walking swimming uh, cycling all the things will improve your respiratory health Her respiratory health in a sense help respiratory immunity will improving thereby you can uh, uh, that we you can prevent the respiratory infections and stamina exercise car cardio uh, respiratory fitness also very good in this condition
and the people will have a covid 19 they will be exposed in for covid 19 they will have cold running nose or nasal congestion some of the symptoms among this they can go for steam inhalation with the tulasi pemmon beet and eucalypts that is we have told already nasal irrigation with the warm saline water neti kriya uh, hope you all remembering that jala neti neti kriya and followed by kapalapati and hot foot immersion and so thought and porousness of voice they can go for saline water gargling with the neem oil or neem water and they can gargle with the neem water with the decoction with the honey and the other one is like a coriander turmeric kashaya with the black pepper that kashaya is very good that will remove the uh, that will very good for expectorant in your cough that is nothing but the you will feel the uh, mucus is coming uh, is stepping on your thoughts it will getting relieved so easily and uh, and moreover the chewing ginger ginger is very good uh, all will be knowing ginger or uh, uh, clove um, garlic or most of all the things you can use for uh, food for having that is very good for anti inflammatory and anti spasmodic and very good expectorant of mucus for dry cough ginger kashaya with the honey and clove cinnamon turmeric pepper for a dry cough in milk you can add with milk you know, all these things uh, for headache hot for immersion uh, we have told that we have to keep your both the feet on hot water for 20 minutes and uh, you should be careful if you have any other uh, diseases like hypertension and other diseases you have to consult previous to this uh, treatment okay aromatherapy with the tulasi or lavender oil also very good for headache and the fever is a cold chest pack and cold sponging for fever these all the things you have to do under uh, consulting a doctor and we is just con uh, congestion cold chest pack hot fermentation to chest and upper back hot foot immersion and chair breathing to reduce your respiratory effort steam inhalation with the tulasi eucalypts and the fatigue tiredness we can we have to use more we have to take more of plant proteins protein food uh, natural we can improve our natural uh, vitamin c intake and vitamin d uh, lemon water with the honey is very good for boosting your immunity stress and anxiety aromatherapy is very good you can use lavender basil or lemon grass oil we can do the steam inhalation with that and the heliotherapy or else we can commonly say that sun bath nowadays the old doctors suggest a pregnant woman that at least minimum of morning sunlight you should be exposed because the baby should get enough vitamin d so the once we are exposing our body to the sunlight the inactive vitamin d will be turning to the active so that will improve your melatonin production vitamin d formation improve your all the gland secretions affecting your stimulate your metabolism and boost your moods and endorphin and serotonin you might be knowing the uh, what is uh, it, how the endorphin and serotonin will be affecting your body so happy hormones and pain killing hormones is very good so all the things simple things that you have to expose your body to the sun early morning or else in the late evening is very good that it will help you to produce the vitamin d in your body and moreover vitamin d is very good it's needed for the calcium absorption vitamin d and calcium will be interconnected and next we can focus more on yoga therapy it says nothing but a breathing exercise uh, like a breathing exercise we have to give some exercise for our breathing hand in and out breathing hand stretch breathing bhujangasana breathing shalabhasana breathing tiger breathing chair breathing all the things it's very good to it will expand your chest and respiratory uh, respiratory muscles of course is very good for in the covid situation next is the surya namaskara in the deceased condition go for only one or two slides from the surya namaskara not mandatory 
and benefit of deep breathing exercise it will dexo detoxify and release the all the toxin through air you breathe and the air comes out from your nostril it's release the tension if we are going for any uh, exam or whatever the activities in the first time you may get some tension so take a deep inhalation and exhalation of course the mind will be coming down your tension will be very relaxed relaxing your mind body that's bring clarity of your thoughts relieve your pain strengthen your immune system that is very important for us for this sake uh, strengthen your lungs improve the cellular regeneration and elevate your mood this is surya namaskara surya namaskara is the comes in the tall steps that is also different different asanas this is the one step so surya namaskara in one round of surya namaskara they comes tall steps you can learn in ways some of the asanas like uh, <coughs> first one is the pada hastasana ardha chakrasana and ardha malsendra asana uh, this is the crocodile posture madarasana bhujangasana ardha malsendra asana shalabhasana almost all the this is a very good it's very good for the covid Uh, generally we can say what are the importance uh, of course it will improve your heart rate strengthen your bones normalize your blood pressure it is very good for weight uh, maintaining your normal weight improve your memory and stress free life you will be more uh, you will it will improve your metabolism and for our sake now in the covid condition it will increase your immunity in every ways and it prevent joint problems increase the blood flow and increase the strength of your muscles and protect your spine improve your nervous system helps to improve your sleep pattern relieve stress make you happier and relaxed so next one is the in the yoga uh, yoga Yoga, uh, yoga asanas like asanas we are giving some exercise for our body and the pranayama is nothing but prana in a sense our breathing like uh, one the person is dead means they don't have prana they don't have breathing so the person is died so pranayama means we are giving some exercise for our breathing our prana it's nothing but prana yama yama is the exercise so we are giving exercise for our breathing or our prana is nothing but the prana yama uh, one is the bastrika prana yama ujjayi nadi shodana prana yama brahmari prana yama all the things we can practice even if we are in the stage of covid also uh, if we are we have disease also we have to do all those things we can uh, uh, we will get a good result and yogic relaxation te- techniques like muscle relaxation breath awareness relaxation deep relaxation is very good to calm down uh, your mind as well as to improve your immunity uh, this is the yoga part and we can go for some of the diet how we can improve our immune uh, immune system and hemon homeostasis how we can keep our immunity in the homeostasis level so first one we should have a balanced diet diet in a sense we will get some of the items like a carbohydrate proteins fat uh, minerals vitamins and water there is a seven components all the things should be in the balanced condition we know that in kerala most of the people will eat uh, more of carbohydrate compared to protein and fat of course we have to change i think in the north indian people they will be varies and uh, we should have good amount of good fat not the fat bad fat we have to take a larger amount of good fat and good proteins and lower side of carbohydrate of course that will be the balanced diet plenty of colored fruits and vegetables the colored fruits in essence they will be having more of nutrition and phytochemicals flavonoids all the things that will varies according to colors that nutrition will varies so we have to select we have to have plenty of colors colored fruits and vegetables in the raw form we can take otherwise in the boiled form so so we can have and nuts of course 
nuts are very important uh, they are having more of zinc and uh, um, folic acid all the minerals and vitamins are very good and uh, fiber rich foods also we have to take we told that vegetables are very uh, rich fiber diet we have to take in the raw form we can take raw vegetable salads for that instead of rice or carbohydrate we can go for millets millets has soup also and consume alkaline rich foods alkaline and acidic is there uh, in the previous picture we have learned that in the stomach and the intestinal flora there will say ph in the stomach and intestine the low ph and high, high ph so the ph will vary according to whether we are having alkaline or acid food that will uh, will be connecting so of course we have to take alkaline rich foods not acidic one have boiled vegetable uh, sink and selenium rich foods like oats spinach beans milk cheese uh, pumpkin seeds cashews like uh, earlier we told that uh, nuts are very good equal to that the seeds also very good i think in kerala mostly rare people uh, take very rarely the seeds uh, the people consume very rare because seeds are very good of vitamin e and other minerals and vitamins we have to eat nuts as well as and seeds as well Mm, I have a good protein rich food we know that proteins like pulses are very good uh, pulses and legumes are very good rich in protein adding <coughs> more cellular water lemon juice we can take and gooseberry juices we can take in this condition of uh, infectious disease and uh, eat daily we can take uh, like spices like jeera turmeric ajwain cinnamon clove cardamom etc and uh, take a good fat don't select bad fat and deep fried items and you can have a good uh, uh, yogurt daily at least one cup that is very good for your intestine it's very good uh, it's a probiotic it's improve your gut flora in the this here also gut flora we have studied in the previous slide also that is very important for our improving our immunity so of course we can take a good fat good curd and the yoga daily exercise improve that will improve your circulation improve your immunity it will very useful for all the allergic condition of course in the covid situation covid Uh, and in the naturopathy things we will advise for the intermittent fasting with the lemon juice or lemon juice fasting that we have to do under any uh, physician that will improve that will reduce the oxidative stress in our body improve the autophagy like uh, autophagy is the other topic and of course it will improve our immune system it will maintain our immune homeostasis uh what to avoid uh, everyone will be knowing all these carbonated items like uh, bakery item sugar ice cream fast food smoking alcohol uh, soft drinks of course we have to avoid all those things at least minimum of for this to avoid um, uh, to improve our immunity because the covid is the pandemic condition now don't go for all the back of these things and uh, reduce your salt intake reduce the amount of trans fat nothing but uh, trans fat and omega 6 also we have to avoid from your diet that is deep fried items and sugar white sugars are trans fats and smoking alcohol you have to avoid and all the best for all of you boost your immunity with your, your through yoga and natural therapies thank you thank you all thank you madam am i okay thank you
Nisham ma'am, what about the presentation? Is there any video presentation? Yeah, 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 one more thing. I can show one of some exercise, simple exercise uh, all of you can do from their home. Uh, that is also I will be sharing now. Uh, shall I start? Yeah, ma'am, okay. <laughs> Stand with feet two inches apart. Adopt Namaskara Mudra. Interlock fingers. Inhale and stretch the arms upwards. Maintain the position. Uh, can it audible? Can yes, ma'am. It's audible and visible. Visible. Okay. Thank audible you. and visible, ma'am. Exhale. Okay. And Stand with feet two inches apart. Adopt Namaskara Mudra. Interlock fingers. Inhale and stretch the arms upwards. Maintain the position. Exhale. Bend on right side. Inhale. Come back. Exhale. Bend on left side. Inhale. Come back. Exhale. Place interlocked palms on the head. Inhale. Stretch the arms and heels up. Relax and maintain the position. Exhale. Bring the heels down and release the interlock of the fingers. Come back to starting position. Place the arms by the side, up to the shoulder level. Place the fingers on the respective shoulders. Rotate both elbows in a clockwise direction for three rounds. Do the same in an anti-clockwise direction for three rounds. both the arms behind the head. Keep the spine straight and relax. Inhale, stretch the arms. Exhale, bring them down. Relax. Spread the leg two feet apart. Raise both the arms to the chest level and parallel to each other. Exhale, twist the body towards the right side. Inhale and come back. Exhale, twist the body towards the left side. Inhale and come back. Exhale, bring the arms down. Place the fingers on the waist. Keep the arms parallel to each other. Inhale and bend backwards. Maintain with normal breathing. Exhale. Come back. Inhale. Raise the arms upwards. Forward. And place the palms on the floor. Under the shoulders. Relax and maintain the position. Inhale. Come up to the upright position. And stretch the arms above the head. Exhale. Bring the arms down. Breathing for three times and relax. Sit in any comfortable posture. Keep the spine and head straight. Place the left hand in Jnana Mudra and the right hand in Pranayama Mudra. Close the right nostril and inhale through left nostril. Exhale through right. Inhale through right. Exhale.
sail through left. This is one round of Nari Shodhana Pranayama. Repeat. Bring the right hand down, hands in Jnana Mudra on the respective knees. Inhale deeply through the nose. While exhaling, make a deep steady humming bee sound. Observe the breathing. Meditate. Now join the palms together in Namaskara Mudra and relax. Ma'am, there is a question in the chat box. Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, uh, Ma'am, what is your advice for 60 plus citizens regarding walking exercise and diet? 60 plus? Citizens. What is Hello. your advice? For... Advice? Oh, sorry? Ma'am, what is your advice for 60 plus citizens regarding walking exercise and diet? Yeah, yeah, of course, diet they can go for the whatever I have told the same thing and the exercise, the light exercise they can do like uh, yoga asana, simple, some of the yoga asanas they can practice and even of course they have to do the pranayama and the relaxation. And we have to consider there whether they have some of the other disease also. If some of the people will have diabetic, if they are hypertensive, if they have any kidney issues or something, uh, the diet should be very prescribed one. Uh, is it okay? Is clear my answer? Sorry, is it clear? Thanks, so, ma'am. Tell me one more doubt. Yeah, yeah, sure. Please. Let me ask. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Hello. Hello. Uh, am I audible? Sorry, I can't hear anything. Uh, can you ask me one second, please? One one is how to boost immunity in children. Yeah, children in sense what age? Uh, it, that will depends upon the what age they are, uh, what they need. Uh, they can use this one like um, boosting immunity, like they can have uh, good fruits and vegetables more and nuts moreover and healthy food. Mainly thing whatever we had told now for children, of course, they will, they will be gifting uh, bakery items and all those things. They can avoid bakery items and fast food. Go for select the healthy foods and vegetables and some other items like millets variety things they can add. And of course, we have to do some other preventive measures like we have to wash our hands, all those things. And immunity depends upon what the age child is. Uh, what is the best time for heliotherapy? What is the heliotherapy? Is nothing but the sun bath. We can uh, that is the improve time. the. 
best time is the early morning around uh, according to place it will varies uh, around the 8 to 10 it will be uh, proper for almost all the areas and we have to see whether the area is uh, that depends upon area morning and late evening 4 to 5 it's very good for exposing your body for sunlight and moreover you can go for supplementation also vitamin d my one more question please told yes, some asana for back pain okay back pain uh, say uh, we have to go through the detail history of that patient whether the simple is it the simple back pain or whether they have any issues on uh, <coughs> cervical or the lumbar or whatever it is maybe the stenosis or uh, any what are the why they are getting uh, back pain we have to uh, we have to under we have to analyze the first thing and in generally we can tell that sedu bandhasana bhujangasana some of the asanas are very good for back pain sedu bandhasana and bhujangasana is the primary one and there are other asanas also like bhujangasana sedu bandham uh, ekapadam dipadam it's very good according to the person's condition ma'am one more question why meat eating people are more prone to diseases is because they eat meat okay uh, actually uh, who says that vitamin d will get from the non veg so that they are preferring for non veging also but that will varies because if you are taking a vegetarian the immunity will be more for them compared to the non vegetarian people and we we know that most of the uh, ladies uh, problem like a pcod or most all the things coming because of this broiler chicken because all the people are addicted with the broiler chicken because of that the hormonal variations comes that lead anyways lower immunity but generally the people say that in covid condition they can have non veg that is the controversial subject But uh, no, compared to non-veg, vegetarian is well and good. They can prefer non-veg also, no worries. But take a country chicken, country non-veg. Select for that. Uh, am I audible, right? Yes, ma'am. It's audible. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Yes. how we reduce stress and our mind happy okay this all the ways yoga meditation this is a very very good uh, treatment pattern for calming our mind and uh, reducing our stress previously we have to go for soothing diet also diet also will uh, interconnected with this asanas take a healthy food lifestyle as well as yoga asanas and exercise and get a good relation with your friends a healthy relationship also will maintain you uh, to avoid the stress and making you calm and pranayama breathing exercise and meditation is well and good Ma'am, I think there are no other questions in the YouTube chat box. Okay. okay. I think the queries are over, right? Okay. Thank you. I think the queries are over. Then, teacher, shall we conclude? Okay. 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 Fine. Uh, okay. If they okay. anyone have. Any or anything, uh, they can contact me on WhatsApp. I think no problem. Okay, very good afternoon to one and all. Respected resource person of the day, Dr. Nisha Manu, faculty members, academicians, and students from different parts of India. Dr. Johnson B, Principal Panatma College, Dr. Sindhu B, and colleagues in the Department of Commerce. 
we the department of commerce cordially extend our heartfelt gratitude to dr nishamanu for spending her valuable time with us thank you ma'am for giving valuable inputs for fighting against the global pandemic disease covid-19 through natural ways last but not least we extend our heartfelt gratitude to all the participants who have spent their valuable one hour with us for getting the information about covid-19 and one important thing your e certificates will be given within 3 days thank you thank you for your active participation there and thank you thank you all thank you dr misha thank you ma'am thank you Uh, thank you everyone for your uh, precious time uh, okay uh, okay sindhu teacher is there yes അതുകൊണ്ടുമില്ല ആയിക്കോട്ടെ ഞാനിവിടെ എന്റെ ചെയ്യണോ അങ്ങനെ അവര് ഇത് ചെയ്യുന്നത് 